Guys, I want to show you a quick assessment on how you can test your internal and external rotation. So we got Brady here, and we're going to first start off with internal rotation. So what I'm going to have him do is he's going to take his ankle and he's going to rotate it to the outside. So here we're testing internal rotation of his right hip. And one thing I want to note is make sure when people um, rotate to the inside, they don't take their foot out and cheat. We want to make sure it's a clean fluid motion right here, and we're measuring this angle right here. So this is his right side. Now we're going to test his left. And then you can see right here, he just has a big block. So this uh, left side is going to be more of uh, the side we're going to focus on with the move today. Let's, let's show the right side one more time. So there's about 20 degree difference from side to side. And that's active. So now we're going to test passive. So passive, I'm going to have him relax. And I'm going to take the hip and internally rotate it. And there's still a block, there. there's still a deficit, and I want to work on this side still. So that's internal rotation. Now let's test external rotation. So what he's going to do is he's going to take this foot and he's going to take it across his body to the opposite side. And we want to make sure they don't take their knee too high to kind of cheat to get there. So we want to try and keep this knee as low as possible. And normal is about mid shin, so he's still a little tight on this side. Now let's check the other side, and it's a little bit better. So we have. Limited external rotation on his right and limited internal rotation on his left. So that's active and let's test passive. So that's about normal value. And that's good too. So I would say that's more of a stability issue for external rotation, but we definitely have a mobility issue for internal rotation on the left. Now I want to show you a quick move and what I like to do for internal rotation um, on the left. All right, so we're going to use a booty floss band for this move. What I like to do is wrap this voodoo floss around mid to upper thigh with an internal rotation bias. So we're going to start on the outside and we're going to wrap it around internal. This is something you can do on, your, on, your, um, on yourself. I'm just going to do it for demo purposes. But as you can see, we're wrapping internal. It's kind, it has, it has a bias towards internal rotation on this hip, and that's the kind of mobilization we're looking for. We want to make sure it's not too tight. I don't want to compress too much. It's a light, a light compression, not too much where it's um, occluding or causing any. Um, damage or up or any numbness up his leg. So that's one thing to note, just a light compression. And then what I'm going to have him do is he's going to internally rotate. He's going to take his hands. He's going to do this, this motion right here each time you internally rotate to so take your hands. There we go. And we're going to do this multiple times, probably 20 times. And that's one set. All right, now we're going to retest his internal rotation on his left. And that's improved greatly, right? So let's do right side and left. And we're almost in the same plane. So a couple more drills, and over time you should be able to get that back to normal range. But again, that's a quick mode you can do at home or at the gym before you do any kind of squats or any motion that requires inter-rotation of that hip.